How's it going, everybody? Thank you for watching this video. And just a quick note, if you guys are subscribed, or if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And when you do, click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel. That way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at creating custom books. Again, another really quick tutorial. I know all these tutorials lately have been really quick, um, but I'm trying to keep them really simple, um, but getting on the fundamentals that you will need to sort of explore more inside of those uh, those tutorials. So yeah, so let's get started. So once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub, so make sure to go check that out. And lastly, make sure not to skip around the video where you guys could miss a line of code, which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. So the first things first here is we're going to be going back into our player join event. So um, yeah, we're just going to keep it simple here. So we're going to call for player player once again, which is event uh, get player. Go ahead and import that. Okay, I thought it wasn't going to work. And then we need to create another item stack, which is going to be called a book, and it is a new item stack of material dot written book. Um, we don't need to do anything more there. Bucket item stack. All right, and now we have to do what's called book meta, which we will just call book meta, and that is equals to book meta, and that is going to be book dot get item meta. So it's very similar to the skulls. Um, books kind of operate in the same exact ways, where they have their own meta because they have their own values that can be set inside of them. And now when you do book meta here, you're going to get a bunch of different um, different things that you necessarily wouldn't have with regular item meta. And one of those being is adding a page, setting an author, and setting a title, right? So we can go ahead and set our author as me. So we can set it as a color, but we're just going to call author as the source code. And then we want to go ahead and set the title, book meta. Uh, set title and we will call this chat color dot purple coding bucket plugins there we go so it's called coding bucket plugins and now the next thing that you can do here is we can either go ahead and just set our pages like this so we can go ahead and say set page one and then we can have the string or we can do an array of strings and then set it that way uh, but I'm just going to do set page one as this because I want to do it in order so I just want to make sure that it goes in order obviously you know when you set when you write these down they're gonna go in order just like how you wrote them um, but we're just gonna go ahead and do set pages one we're gonna go ahead and do set pages one there sorry I just yawned and we're going to say step one learn Java right so you can do color codes here uh, so we can go ahead and do chart color data oh I don't know let's just do green chat color that green step one learn Java right and now you're probably wondering well how do I get more on the page other than just that one right so you actually have to go ahead and do slash or backslash n for a new line but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go up here and create a new string and it is going to be called nl for new line and that is equal to backslash n I think this way it'll be a lot easier to keep track of where we are creating our new lines um, or you could even call it new line it doesn't particularly matter uh, so we're gonna go ahead and say uh, let's just jump down here we're gonna go ahead and say plus and then let's just call our new variable here nl plus and then we'll say check color uh, we'll just actually don't we'll, we don't need to do another check color I don't believe here um, but if not, it doesn't matter. So step two, um, get good at Java. Okay, and now we want to make sure we're not having any spaces here because the, the new line um, doesn't really allow for new spaces here. So we'll just press enter here because I kind of want it to be 
more or less all lined up so we can keep track of it a little bit easier here. Um, just indent that one. And we'll indent it a couple times here. Well, it's, well, we'll just default it to there. Um, all right. So then what we have to do now is we have set uh, our page one as that. Uh, obviously, you can have as many pages as you would like. We'll just do one page for now. Then we want to go ahead and do book, not nook. It's not a nook. Dot set item meta as book meta. And then we'll need our player here, player dot get inventory. And then we'll go ahead and add item. Uh, and we'll add book. And now we can go ahead and export this. Leave that. Rejoin. Oh, and we have an error here. So invalid page number. So we have an invalid page number. Because we need zero to start because we're in Java. And Java always starts with zero. So let's try that again. Still not working. Invalid page number. Hmm. So let's actually just do the array list here. Yeah, let's just do array list of strings. Well, I think we actually might have to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't think we would have to do it, um, but we might have to. And we'll go ahead and import array list. All right, so this is similar. Maybe we don't have to do that. Oh, new array list. That's why it's not working. New, new array list. There we go. And then we will just go ahead and say pages dot add. And then we will go ahead and say book dot set. Oops, book meta dot set pages. And we will set it to pages. There we go. And now we can get rid of this zero there. So let's try this now. So I'll leave. Let's rejoin. There we go. Coding bucket plugins by the source code. And it is the original book. So let me just turn off these two tips here so you can see what comes with it. Original. And we will open that. And look at that. Learn Java. Step one. Step two, get good at Java. So you guys learn how to create your own custom books here, right? And now uh, you can set it, like I said, you can have as many pages as you want and you can pretty much put as much information that will fit onto a custom book page. I don't know how many characters that is, so I couldn't really tell you or how many like words, um, but it is probably around 10 or, or 10 to 12 lines worth of text that you can fit on here so that's all i got for you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe i'll leave this up here real quick so you guys can go ahead and look at this code before i close this video oh uh you see wrong chat color always doing that always doing the wrong chat color bucket bucket chat color that's the one you want always bucket all right see you guys later